Picture the scene. You've booked flights and hotels, taken time away from the family, and brought all your kits to shoot a landscape scene with the intention of making money from the images via stock sites. Only one problem, Mother Nature isn't playing ball in a served up flat boring skies that won't do anything to help your frames stand out from the crowd on ultra competitive stock sites. What can you do to rescue the situation and save the day? Well, luckily Affinity Photo offers a solution in the shape of its replacement sky features. As the name suggests, the software offers professionals the ability to swap out a boring sky for something much more eye-catching and sellable. What's more, although the technique might sound a little complicated, it's actually really simple and can be done in less than 5 minutes, leaving you more time to focus on which images you're going to upload to the stock sites. To speed up the process, before you open the software, make a folder that holds your replacement sky images and for best practice, whenever you're out in the field with the camera and an impressive sky comes into view, take an image and build up a bank of different skies taken at different times of the day. You'll never know when they might come in useful. So, let's see how this technique comes together. If your landscape image opened up in Affinity, make sure you can see the layers panel because we're going to be using this quite a lot. Next, head up to File and scroll down to Place. This will allow you to select the image you want to use as your replacement sky. So select the file and click open. You'll see the cursor has changed and this will allow you to drag across the frame and place your sky. A little tip that might help with this step is to turn on the snapping icon which is identified by the magnetic tool at the top of the interface. I'm just going to line up my sky roughly with the horizon in the landscape scene. Our next step is to head back to the layers panel and we're going to turn off the sky image temporarily by unclicking the icon box and then selecting the background image below. We then want to head over to the toolbar and find the selection brush tool which has the keyboard shortcut W. Once you've selected this brush you can change the size of it using the square bracket keys and just draw around the sky so that it automatically highlights the area that you want to replace. Now the software has picked out my sky quite nicely, but there are areas around the tree line that just aren't quite right, but we can fix this pretty quickly. And to do this, head up to the refine option at the top of the interface and click. Before you go any further, zoom in so you can get a better view. So the dialog box will appear and the matte brush will be automatically selected for us and all we have to do is draw over these areas that we want to include in our selection and the software will pick them up for us quite nicely so we'll just get the last of these trees and there we go once you're happy with selection zoom out again once you're ready to move on Go back to the dialog box and just click apply. So there we go, we have our flat boring sky selected and all we need to do is head back to the layers panel and turn on our new sky by clicking the box. Now you'll notice the sky is spilled over and we don't want this part included in the final image of course but all we have to do is head to the layers panel, find the mask icon which is identified by a circle within a square, click on it and there we go. Of course the new sky might not immediately fit in with the scene but this can be fixed with some tonal blending and we can start by deselecting our selection by going up to select, clicking deselect and then we can move forward by adding an adjustment layer. To add the adjustment layer just head up to layer at the top of the interface, scroll down to new adjustment layer and I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. I'm going to increase the brightness slightly and I'm also going to increase the contrast by dragging the slider to the right. For a final touch, increasing or decreasing the saturation in the image can help match the original scene with the new sky. So head back up to layer, scroll back down to new adjustment layer and this time select HSL. You'll see the dialog box has changed and given me more options. And I'm actually going to increase the saturation because this is quite a vivid scene. So I'm going to drag the slider to the right. And there we go. Finally, once you're happy with all the edits, head up to File, Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format. 
So there we go, that's how you replace a sky in your landscape scene. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.